Hello everybody, I'm Imran from Web Squadron and I want to talk to you about pop-up templates because I want to create a simple pop-up which isn't really being used for marketing but it's almost used like a preloader or a form of animation or something like that for your landing page of your website. So I'm using pop-ups in a generally slightly different way to what you tend to use pop-ups for. You know, like freebies, giveaways, coupons, stuff like that. Why? Because I just want to show you another way of doing things without any code and without any additional plugins, just with Elemental and your creativity, okay? So let's get started on how to do that. Like I said, I'm Imran Web Squadron. I hope you like, share, subscribe and follow and, you know, look me up and say, hey, he's a really cool guy because I'm here to help you with Elemental and WordPress to help you, your clients and your business. So we're in WordPress, obviously Elemental. We're going to go to templates, saved templates, and we can click add new. Or you could have just clicked pop ups, either way, same kind of thing, really. Okay, and we're going to click add new. And we are going to create a pop up. If it hasn't already selected it, you pick pop up. Okay, and we're going to call this a uh, landing pop. Okay, why such a silly name? It's just the way I am. Everything I do is just ridiculously silly. Okay. But if you like me and you like what I'm doing, you'll keep watching and I'll keep watching you. Probably not that way around. Right, so I'm not gonna use a template, by the way, okay? I'm gonna build one from scratch. So we, once you do that, you're now into the area of where you can build your template. I'm gonna add in a one section with one column. I'm just gonna get rid of the navigator for a moment. And that is the size of our pop-up, which is not really how big I want it to be. I'm going to go over here and say full width. I'm going to say no gap. And I'm going to say I want it to be fit to screen in terms of the, the height of it. Okay, that's fine. But we are still in kind of a restricted window. We're not getting the full width of the pop up. Down here, where you have the cog for your settings, which is normally when you're on an elemental page, allows you to hide the title or set your canvas up to be default, elemental full width, elemental canvas. Whoa, sorry, I hit the navigator again. You hit the settings and you're now into the pop-up settings window. Let me just increase that there. There's your width. We're on 640. But if you kick VW and make sure that is 100, you're already on full height when we did the minimum height for the section, right? We did fit to screen. Now the width is 100. 100 means 100%, which is what we wanted, okay? Now let's go to the style of this background. And I'm going to set it to be a dark color. In fact, we're just going to go with black. Okay, I'm just going to go with a black color. And that's all we're going to do there. I might change it actually in a moment. I might make it a slightly charcoal -y color. But we'll leave it for that for now. I'm not going to add in a gradient. I'm not adding in any overlay or anything like that. Because I'm actually going to switch the overlay off. Overlay is normally when you have a pop-up like menu, like an off-canvas menu. You click a button and it slides in. And then the rest, here's your menu. And everything here on the screen goes behind a dark or even a, uh, a pinky bluey color overlay. I'm not bothered about overlay because it's full screen. The height is fit to content, obviously. Horizontal, vertical, you know, um, I actually might put this as a, uh, you know, I can start to mess around with this if I wanted to, but I'm not. There is going to be no overlay and there is going to be no close button. I want this to pop up and it will disappear after a certain time has passed, okay? So no overlay and no close button. The entrance, well, it's just default. It will just appear. I don't want it to fade in because I want it to be there as the first thing you see. But in terms of when it goes away, I want it to fade out. I don't want it to slide out. You could have it slide out. You could have it slide up. You could have it go into a warp hyperdrive and to another universe and galaxy if you so want. But I think fade out will work for me. And the duration of this, I'm going to make it be 1.5. Just because I want it to just be not too slow, not too fast, but just gradual. 1.5 is kind of okay. General settings, I'm not bothered about that and I'm not going to do anything else. I'm going to go to the style now. Well, we've already done that. We've set the background. And then I go to advanced. Uh, prevent closing on overlay. Well, there is no overlay. Automatically close or automatically close after. Let's just put four seconds. We'll have to test it. Four seconds might not be enough or we might need to go for five. Let's just do four for now. Disable page scrolling. No, it's okay for them to page scroll. Avoid multiple pop-ups. No, that's okay. And in terms of margins and padding, we are going to leave that as it is as well. In fact, 
I'm going to go back to the section over here and I'm going to set the column position here to be top. Okay. I'm going to go to advanced for this section and I'm going to say, give me some padding of about 200. Okay. So that is for the section. For the pop up, it's, it's okay being as it is. That's fine. But at the moment, all we've got is a blank page. It comes up, fills the screen, and after four seconds, it disappears out of view. So let's now do some content or add some content into it. Let's go here and we're going to add in a image, right? Wow, look how big that is, dude. Let's add in a image of this fox, which I got off Canva, which is totally free. So we got this like outline that's going to come in. We're going to set this to be full. We're going to put it as center. And I'm actually going to make this be um, 300, 300 pixels. I think that's pretty okay. Yeah, 300 pixels because it's a logo that's coming in. You can make it smaller, by the way, okay? And you can mess around with the filters as well. So I might, you know, you could blur it. You can make it brighter. You could make it just like a slightly uh, less brighter color. In fact, so we'll just do something like, uh, in fact, no, we'll go with something like that. There we go. So it's coming through. Okay. Well, it's not coming through. Sorry. Silly me. It's just an image that appears. If I go to advanced for this image, you know, I'm, I'm not doing anything groundbreaking here. This is normal elemental. Elemental 101. One. No, wrong way. One. Oh, what? Like that. Or something like that anyway. Motion effect. This is going to be appearing as a fade in. So it's going to fade in like that. Do you want to go with slow? Slow, I think, works pretty well. So let's go with slow. I'm then going to add in another image. Okay. Now, this is the bit where you just got to play around a little bit. Let me click on this image. Let me go to positioning. Let me set the positioning for this to be custom. Let me go back to the column. Right. So we're now back on the column, not the column, sorry. Ignore me. We're back on the image. All right. So I've just made it positioning custom. And I'm going to say this is 100%. Right, it is 100%. So it's back in the center, right? Because over here for this column, the layout for it, the horizontal line is gonna be centered as well. You could go with start if you want. Not gonna make much difference, but center. So that is now centered, okay? I'm now gonna duplicate this image. It goes directly below. I'm gonna change the image to be this one, okay? So now it's, a, it's the same image, but it's a colored version. Again, I got this off Canva. Why do I do this all the time when I get excited? Well, what am I trying to say? I'm saying, hey, everybody, get dancing. No. So we got this other image. It will have the same settings as the image above. We go to advanced. We go to positioning. It is still custom. It is still 100. But this time, for the vertical align, I'm going to pick absolute. Look at that. It just jumped up. It's blended with the image. It's like it's the force is one. OK, look, it's just blended in now, right? Now, this image is also going to be coming through. OK, I'm just going to go to Z index and make sure this has got a two on it. Let me go back to my navigator, go to the first image and make sure that has got a Z index of one because I want to make sure that the second image definitely is the upper one. It should be because of the order it's been created. But I just want to be double double sure. Now, image two is also going to fade in slowly. OK, but I don't want it to kind of um, be at the same time as the other one. So I'm going to create a delay of about a second. So as that's come through, then that image is, can you see that? Can you see what it did there? And it, that might not be too good. So let's go with 500. Let's test it out. Okay, so are we going to get an, one image come through and then the other image blends in through as well? Let's add in some text just below over here, right? So the image we drop in the text, that now is not custom positioning. That now is not following the layout of the images above because it's a totally new header. Let's now just add in here and we're going to call this wolf. Because it's a wolf, right? We're going to go with there. We're going to go with typography. And you know what typography I'm going to go with now. You must know by now. We're going for Orbitron. We're going to go for REM and we're going to put the REM as five. I, I love the band R.E.M. I loved all of their music. You know, you know, I'm older than I look, but I love their music. We're going to set that as a 300. Let me just move myself. There we go. Right. So we just got a bit of lead space ring over. It's not a huge amount of spacing, is it? In fact, I'm probably going to go back to the content. and I'm just going to make the words pop a little bit more. There we go. Wolf. That's now coming in center. Right. And we're going to go with advanced. 
And we're going to go with a motion effect. And I'm going to go with um, this entrance is going to fade in as well. In fact, it won't fade in. It's going to fade in up like that. OK, and the animation will be uh, normal, but it's going to be delayed by. We've got to think about this now. Let's go with two five hundred. So two and a half seconds, maybe. I mean, even get about one and a half seconds before it flows out. And this might not work, by the way. Right. So at the minute, I've got animation, animation. Well, with two images, I've got the text coming in. It currently looks like that. How does it look on the mobile? Well, let's just test it out. Responsive mode. Go to your mobile. This is where you've got to play around now. So with the heading, we go to typography. At the REM, we're going to set it to be three. I would probably say go with about 2.5 maybe. Let's just click on the section. I'm now going to mess around with the padding. So I'm going to go with 100 from the top. In fact, not 100 from the top. I'm going to go 150 and about 150 like that. In fact, 150 is definitely not enough. 250 and 250 there. And that's definitely too much. 200. There we go. We go with 200, 200. OK, and just you play around with it just to get it completely perfect and right. OK, um, so that now looks fine on the mobile. Let's just double check. Yeah, that's working OK for me and on there as well. Now, when we hit publish, where do we want to display this? I've already created a, a fake page that's got a section on it which is just gobbledygook that I just, you know, I, sorry, I don't mean gobbledygook. I pulled it from the Elemental Template Library, one of their blocks. It's not gobbledygook. They've got great stuff on there, but it's gobbledygook in my book. We're going to add a condition, and this is going to be on a certain page. So singular, and it's going to be pages, and I'm going to now type here landing pop. Landing pop, there it is. Okay, so we've done that, and then we're going to hit next. Um, it's going to be on page load. So as soon as the page loads, I don't want no delay. It loads, right? And I'm not. It's not going to activate by clicking or scrolling or nothing like that. And it's it will show whenever you go to the landing page. I could change it so it only shows that you know it only shows up to how many times. But I'm just going to leave it like that. And then we hit save and close. Save and close. We are done with the pop up. But let's now see it in action. So here is our landing pop page and it's just got this section here that you'll recognize from the blocks. You know, when you when you want to create a section or pull over one that's already pre-built for you, I've just popped that in. That's right at the top of the page. OK, there's no space for the pop up because the pop up is going to appear and the pop up will actually appear over this. Right. And after four seconds, it will disappear. And this is what will be left behind the content. Look, this is a page with lots of just junk. I'm like, hey, hi, I'm in man again. This is me. You know me. Look, right, so this is just gobbledygook and stuff I've put in here, like little images and blog posts and just different layouts, OK? Uh-huh. There you go. And then the wolf. Five seconds is a bit too long. I think we could go back to four seconds. But let me just show you again what that did. Look, let's just play it again. First image, second image blends through, lettering, and then it's going to disappear out no code no plugin we just gave ourselves a landing page pop-up animation there is no coupon there is no discount just me being my crazy self hey i hope you like subscribe share and follow and i shall see you soon